Hi friends, it's Liz here. Thank you for joining me today. I am doing the unboxing for your creative studio. This is the February box and um, there's so many awesome items in this subscription box. Um, I was inspired to make something using some of the pieces and it's something that um, uh, I've kind of added to and have recently been re-inspired to create. So you'll see what I mean. Um, as we get closer to the end of the video, Amanda has put these really nice pieces in this subscription box and you can see these ones have perforations so they all look like there's some sort of tag or label that you can cut up and each uh, paper piece is just a really nice feel to it. Um, I'm really enjoying going through the items that Amanda curates for us and each box is different every month. If you have subscribed to some of her boxes before, you know what I mean. And if you haven't seen my unboxing videos for her, I will link some of them below. There's just so many different goodies in each box and you'll get an idea of what, um, you know, what each box contains. Like this one has a really nice um, pencil pouch and I'm loving what it looks like. Of course, I can add my own little ephemera in there. It does not have to just hold pencils or pens. We'll see. Um, I wanted to also mention that I have been working hard at uploading a video for all of you. Um, I did make the video for the decorating of the mini album that we created a little while back and I'll leave a link to that video above and in the description box. Um, I'm not sure what happened, but I tried uploading it a few times and each time the video was missing, missing like um, a few minutes of video. So I could hear the voice, but I couldn't see the video and I'm still trying to figure that out. So please know that it is a long video and maybe that's what's causing the issues. Um, it's taken me, well, each time I upload it, it's a little over two hours and 30 minutes to upload, but the video is probably about 45 minutes, which I think is the longest video I've made. So anyways, um, I just wanted to let you know that I have been working on bringing that to you. And unfortunately, I've had some technical issues doing that. So I'm still working on it and it should be up hopefully very soon. Now, as you can see from what the items are in this box, I absolutely love them so far. As always, there's lots of stickers. There are really nice, um, these look like uh, postage stamps and I really like that um, on vellum paper. Um, there was that little notepad with the little labels there. And then you've got another tiny little booklet here that also I believe holds stickers. And these are dated stickers, I think. So um, you've got one for each day of the month, which I think is just such a beautiful thing to have, especially if you are, you know, journaling daily or um, you can use them in your planners. So I think that's also really nice. Um, what else did I want to mention? I have uploaded um, some new digitals in my shop, which I will also link below um, because I've been working with mini albums and working on like a mini ephemera pack. I decided to make some um, ephemera that goes with them. So it's all tiny labels and tags. And now I've added some additional pieces, which you'll see in my next video that I upload, but the digitals are already in my shop. I've already shared that on my blog and on uh, Instagram. So if you wanted to take a look at that, definitely go ahead and check out the links below or check out my blog, which I will leave details for on the screen. So this, uh, did you see that uh, really nice trim with the flowers? It is beautiful and I can't wait to use it. And these are really nice um, tags it's a very nice thick cardstock that they come in so these will be very nice to add to um you know journaling pockets and that kind of thing so it's very nice i like the variety as well and of course the little box is super adorable I, i've actually been obsessed with making little boxes i'll show you that in a separate video um, i'm making little um stationary packs so i hope that um you'll all be um, happy to see them. They're super adorable and cute. So I can't wait to share those with you as well. And uh, the next items here, let me just uh, show you what is coming next. Uh, I had initially thought of making this unboxing more like uh, Paper Sounds unboxing 
because there were so many really nice uh, pieces that I could go through but I don't know if you are interested in just seeing an unboxing without me chatting and just kind of taking you through the items so you can just see them let me know leave a comment below and I might be able to do that for the next unboxing I love this little washi tape with the faux postage stamps that will definitely come in handy and then this uh, little box full of stickers I love them they're all like little tickets and I think these are just so perfect again to share with friends and to add to your ephemera pieces I like that there's a variety of colors as well um, and they look like little ticket stubs they're super adorable and um, Amanda usually includes some stamps as well in her kits and these ones are exclusive to um, your creative studio so I believe she has these made for her subscribers and this one happens to be florals and little flowers they're super adorable and I'm sure they will be so fun to use in you know um, spring three spring themed projects you see more flowers here again these are stickers exclusive to the subscription box and then she's got some additional sticker paper which i really like i like that it's a collage here um, so of course this can you know be made into tags or you can um, add them to your different projects and um, i was actually thinking of using them as um uh, paper strips on collage collaging on my pages but we'll see um, what I decide with these ones later okay so the little project um, I'm making is a, a zine I've made this before and I have shared a video with you um, on how to make it so it's basically a tiny little um, notebook or mini album that um, you don't need to glue or um, stitch together the pages kind of you know um, come together with the way you fold them and um, we're just going to be decorating this one I'm going to decorate the cover and a little bit of the inside with some of the embellishments um, so you can kind of see almost like a little mini journal spread or an album spread I'm using some of my mini printables as well because I think they coordinate nicely with um, what Amanda has in the subscription box and um, I also got inspired to look at this again at the zines from um, a video I saw from I think her channel is Journal with Purpose, Helen of Journal with Purpose. I just recently saw one of her videos and I was inspired to, um, you know, make my zine again. I made a few, um, I think maybe a year ago or maybe a little bit further than that. I will link those videos below so you can see the different ways that I've decorated them and the ways that I had made pages before. But this one, I'm trying out something that she did, and that was um, to use cardstock for the front and back covers, and then um, decorating that and embellishing a little bit. At the end of the video, I also have a quick tip um, on making your own stencils, a really quick and easy way that I've started doing that when, you know, it's something that um, I may already have on hand that I could repurpose and reuse for that. So for now, I'm just working on the cover. As you can see, I'm just gluing it right on top of the front and back cover of the zine. And then I'm cutting the pieces around it so that it actually matches up. Um, I really liked what um, what Helen did as well with hers, but I think maybe for the next one, I'll cut up my um, cardstock and just add it um, separately, like a piece to the front cover and a piece to the back cover. But I, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not sure um, how I'm going to go ahead, but I really am liking the idea of, you know, making more of these little mini albums, mini notebook scenes, etc. Here again, I'm just using some of my ephemera pieces. Um, because they are uh, mini, I figured they would fit nicely with, um, you know, this little mini album. And I just can't quite decide if I wanted to add some of the sticky paper, like the sticker paper that she has sent. I had considered covering a little bit of the front cover with that. Um, but then I think I just changed my mind and added this one as a focal point and just kind of worked with it. And in case you 
hadn't noticed, I did speed up the video a little bit because I think you can still see what I'm doing and the choices I'm making, um, but I didn't want to kind of make the video too long while I added some of the pieces. Um, I find that sometimes it's just uh, nice to see, you know, the process and, you know, what I'm doing. And you can always just pause the video at some point if you want to look at something a little bit more. Um, I did decide that I was going to use my Distress Ink at some point um, for the little um, image on the cover. And then I will be using that again um, to use for my... Um, my faux stencil that we will be doing in a moment. So here again, I'm just trying to decide if I wanted to use any of these little sticker sheets that she sent, but I ended up using some of these tear apart sheets, which um, end up looking like um, little tickets or little labels with the different um, styles of paper that are in the subscription box. So I use some of those and of course I combine um, you know, some things that um, I've printed out or things that I already had on hand. Um, as always, you know, I, I try and reuse pieces that I have um, left over from other projects as much as possible. Um, and then this way it just kind of feels like I'm able to um, use up a lot of the scraps and not waste a lot of items, of course. Um, so here you can see I just decided to use this little label as um, kind of like a background piece. And I'm just doing a little bit of collaging and trying to decide, you know, what I want to add to my page. I think what I'll do as well is what um, Helen was doing, and that is um, trying to make a little zine for every month of the year. So this one will be for March and I'll probably, um, you know, fill out some of the pieces um, off camera but then at the next video whenever I decide to come back I might show you what I've done so far and then maybe continue to add to it. So um, definitely something great happened in March for me of this year and that is I hit um, 20,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel and that to me is the most amazing thing. So I thank you all so much for that um, and I'm definitely going to be documenting this and if, again I'm still working on editing my videos and doing my giveaway etc. So um, definitely keep an eye out for that. Um, as I mentioned in previous videos I am looking at comments on my videos now for the giveaways so hint hint if you've been leaving comments that is definitely a good thing. So here's what I said I was going to show you about um, making your own stencils. I'm using the negatives of some of my paper punches. Um, of course, they can be your um, die cuts, um, etc. And, uh, you know, we all get lots of those. So I like to repurpose them for many things. Uh, one of them for sure is making stencils. But then again, I also like to um, use them as ephemera pieces when you add them to, you know, different types of papers or scrapbook paper and uh, you back them to make them like little tags, etc. So that was uh, the tip that I wanted to show you. I'm going to keep um, embellishing this one with some of the pieces. So I hope that um, you are enjoying this video. If you do like to see different types of um, creative projects, let me know what else you would like to see um, or check out my playlist and see if um, there's something that might interest you at this point. I do have videos for beginners. I have tutorials and I have lots of craft with me videos as well. So here you can see I'm using again some of the elements that were in the box and then just trying to sort of balance the pieces um, from one page to the other. I am trying to kind of make them work together for this spread and I think I'll be doing that for um, the other pages that are in this little project. As I said making a zine is super easy. I think it's one of the nicest things you can make if you are um, you know, a beginner, but also it's um, a quick project you can make if you're kind of stuck and not real, you know, not really deciding what you want to make. This is definitely one of those um, fun projects that you can do because it's easy to put together and it is so fun once you finish it off, you feel so accomplished. So this mini book um, is almost finished here with some of the decorations. As I said, I'll continue to do that uh, maybe in a couple of other videos to show you the process of the other pages. I'll link the video below of how to make a mini zine. I think I've got a couple versions in the, in the video, so I will link those below if you're interested. And then you'll also get to take a look at the different ways that I have made mine. So if you are making zines, let me know. I'll leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that uh, notification bell, like the video and leave a comment below. I will see you next time. 
Thanks so much for stopping by.